haven't even started yet, Yuki. Hey guys, it's Sue here. Welcome back to another video. Very talkative today, aren't we? Welcome to another reviewing my subscribers pet enclosures video. And not just pet enclosures today, I'm going to be reviewing also just like pictures of your animals you guys have sent me. Because I mentioned in my last reviewing your pet enclosures video to just like send in your pets. Like I just want to see them. <laughs> like I just think it's cool to see what kind of animals you guys own. Um, especially because I don't review every type of like animal enclosure. Like I always say on my videos, I only like to review animals that I experience with most of the time. Sometimes I make exceptions, but most time, just animals I have experience with. Um, unless I feel like I like need to say something about something. But I just feel more comfortable reviewing enclosures of animals that I do have experience with because I know more about them. But this video is always fun to make. I really like seeing your enclosures. And most of them are always really good, so. If you didn't know, I have a hashtag on Instagram called hashtag soda pets reviews. So if you want me to review your pet enclosure or just pictures of your pets, please use the hashtag. And then your pet or your enclosure might be reviewed in the next video. But also don't be too upset if I do miss your enclosure. There is quite a few in here so I'm not going to be able to go through everyone's posts but I try to go through most of them. Oh my god. That's a freaking brain mantis. It's so cool. Oh she's drinking. She's like drinking the water on it. Oh that's so cool. What a cool looking setup too just from what I can see. It's like fully natural by the looks of it. I would honestly love to own a prey mantis. I do get a lot of them in like my backyard and stuff. Although I wouldn't want to take one from the wild. But like I think there is like prey mantis breeders in New Zealand to be honest. So maybe I should look into that because they're really cool. Alright, here's a little budgie cage. Cute little budgie there. It doesn't look too bad for one budgie. I like this um little toy that you have here, the little like takeaway box or something with those little things in there. That looks like a really good toy. It does look like you have a mirror in there. Or maybe two mirrors actually. I think both of those are mirrors. I would definitely recommend removing that because mirrors should not be in bird toys. They just create a lot of hormonal problems with birds and you definitely don't want that which can cause a lot of aggressive behavior and issues with bonding with your bird. So I would definitely recommend you remove those mirrors. Uh, and I would also recommend that you Get rid of the dowels and change them for natural perches instead for their feet. The stickers are really cute, but just make sure they're not trying to chew the stickers. Um, because I have stickers everywhere as well, like not in my birdcage though, but like everywhere else. And my cockatiels always try and rip them up. Um, so I have to be a bit more careful now because obviously I don't want them to eat the stickers or anything like that. So keep that in mind too. You might want to take the stickers out of the cage. Just because it's not a good idea for them to eat that, and they probably will try. I only see seed in the cage, so I'm not sure if you feed them like vegetables and stuff, but just keep in mind that vegetables is always very important for budgies as well. And also, it's a good idea to introduce some other foods like pellets into their diet, not just seeds. Um, most of the toys look a bit kind of just like plasticky, which budgies really don't care much for plastic toys from experience because they can't do anything with them, they can't destroy them or anything. So I would probably try to get some more toys that your budgie can like destroy and tear up, like paper toys, you know? And also they say that they let them fly around at least three times a week. It might be a good idea to try and do it more than three times a week, like every day. But I understand that's not always possible, but it's best to try to let them out as much as possible, especially because this cage is a wee bit small. They might get a bit bored in there. So yeah, that's just just my thoughts. This is Finnegan's tank. <laughs> I like the name. It was a prized birthday gift from a friend who knows I love fish. Oh god, if someone got me an animal for my birthday, I would be kind of pissed, not gonna lie. I didn't have time to cycle a tank, nor did I have a tank on hand, but I knew I couldn't let him in a little pit still container for any longer than necessary. I don't have experience with betas. Is there anything else I can prove on the tank? It's a 20 gallon tank. Wow, that's a really good size. All live ponds are alive. The heater I got for the tank ended up being broken, so I'm getting a new one. Okay, that's good, because I was gonna say that you would need a heater, but I already know that. This looks like a really nice tank, I mean, especially because you had to kind of get it quickly and then you can't cycle it and stuff, which does make things a bit harder. So make sure you're keeping an eye on all the parameters because it is very difficult to cycle a tank with a fish in there. You do always have that risk of your fish dying while cycling, unfortunately. I don't see a filter, so I don't know if you have a filter, but you're definitely going to want to have a filter. Um, just something low flow, you know. I like that you have live plants in there, and it looks really nice. You have a little beta hammock too, it's cute. He also isn't eating. Oh, I didn't see that. This is from May? 
was a while ago. He probably wasn't eating because you you just got him. Like I can tell that tanks like just been set up because of all the bubbles. So that's probably why he wasn't eating. You have to let them like adjust. You know they're definitely not going to eat straight away. Um, so hopefully he's eating now. But also it depends what kind of food you're feeding them. You know you could try lots of different food. You could try blood worms and like brine shrimp and stuff. But this was a little while ago, so hopefully he's still doing good. Oh, it looks like he did find his appetite. Okay, that's good. Actually, I think there is a filter. This looks like there might be a filter coming down here, so... But yeah, I mean, I think you've done a pretty good job considering this was a surprise birthday gift, which, you know, is probably not the best idea to get someone a fish or an animal as a birthday gift without telling them, but at least you've done a good job despite all that. But yeah, just make sure that you are testing the water and all that and making sure the parameters are okay, obviously. <gasps> oh my god, her name's Padme? Oh, that's so cute! Look at her, look at her big eyes! Oh my god, is she a kitten? Oh my god, that one's got a sweater! <laughs> oh, this is another, like, Prey Mantis? I think it is. That's a cool looking one. Ooh, a nice little cockatiel cage. This is cute, I like the style. Very nice style cage, and it looks really big too. Oh wait, is it two? Oh, there's like two platforms. That's interesting. I mean, I think so, anyway. You could probably just remove that platform so he doesn't skip on it too much, you know? Because it will be probably hurt his feet. But, um, otherwise, this is really nice looking. Lots of nice toys I can see back there. Looks like some good, like, foraging, shredding toys, you know? Love that. Natural purchase, too. Very nice. Chicken. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. You call it here, too. Looks like tofu. Where is Tofu? Oh, there you are. You're on the... He's on the curtain. Hey! Beautiful baby! Oh my god! I'm gonna cry. We, don't, we can't get hedgehogs as pets here, but we do have wild hedgehogs here. Like, every summer, especially, there's always hedgehogs in our garden, and I always give them food. Even though they're a pest in my country and people hate them and kill them, but hedgehogs are cute okay and they're not as much as a pest as like cats so you know fight me on that oh my god are they cuddling together oh my god like have i seen this account before maybe i have i don't know oh my god oh shit <laughs> it's so cute his name is kiwi love that oh no Okay, I don't usually review um, bearded dragons because I don't have experience with bearded dragons, so... But I feel like I, I can't ignore this one because, I mean... And there's fish, too. That one doesn't look too bad. Oh. Never mind, there's two beta fish together. I thought it was just one. I thought it was just one beta fish. I was wrong. Okay, alright. So it looks a bearded dragon closure. Uh... Okay. So... I'm just kind of confused this whole setup, to be honest. Because this... What is this? I don't know. I'm really confused. Does it not live in a tank or something? But it's on paper towels, which I guess isn't... Do people do that? I don't usually see that, but I mean, I guess it's not harmful. Oh, it will get very dirty, though. You have to clean it every single day. Uh, is it okay? Okay, um... There, there's no hides. And nothing for it to do. Just, just paper towels. And one bowl, which is... Is it a food dish or is it a water bowl? I think it's water. I don't know where the food dish is. Maybe it's not there at the moment. Oh, I don't really know what to say. There's just so much, so much going on. Uh, I think it's a red lamp, too. Oh boy. So at least you've got lighting. I'm assuming this one's probably UVB. And the red one's probably heat. Red heat lamps aren't very good. Mainly because a lot of time red heat lamps say, like... You can use them at night, which you definitely should not do. That's just gonna disrupt their sleep cycle. Um, but they're also just not very good anyway. But yeah, I'm just kind of confused. Like, is this a temporary enclosure or like what's happening? Because there's nothing in here. Like, beta dragons really need enrichment just like every other animal, and there's none of that in here. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just this is the picture you sent me. So I'm just gonna review it, and it's not not very good. They need to hide. They like to have places to climb, like maybe you could put like a big piece of like driftwood in there, or a big log or something. You put like a one of those reptile hammocks in there. Like there's so many options. I don't know why there's nothing in here. And then the the beta tank, like I was like, yeah, it looks good. There's plants in there. It looks like a good size, maybe. I don't know. I can't really tell. But then 
I noticed there's another bait in there. Why is it two? Beta fish, aka Siamese fighting fish, because they fight each other to the death, uh, should not be housed together, especially males. Um, females sometimes, but uh, I'm not really a huge fan of that. But males, definitely not. I, I am surprised they actually are together because they would not live very long together. And I don't think, even if they seem okay together, just don't do it. I don't think it's worth risking your animal's lives just because you want to have two of them. I just think that's just very selfish. Which, uh, maybe you just don't know that, but don't do it, please. I mean, I mention this all the time. So, I mean, surely you would watch some of my videos if you're standing in your enclosure. Separate them and this would be a, this would be a good tank, I think. I don't know if there's any heater or, or filter, but there's plants. If anyone wants to add anything in the comments that I might be missing, like, please do because, like I said, I don't need to review animals I don't have experience with, but I just... I couldn't just leave this here without saying anything, you know? Oh! My terrarium set up for nine bell frogs. Yay! I love seeing bell frogs because... Pips moving around. Because bell frogs, I don't see them, other people with them as much because they aren't super common because they're only in like Australia and New Zealand. So it's always nice when I see them because I, I own these guys and I love them. Oh, they're little babies. Aww. Oh, you still have like a little tail nub, I think. So you're like freshly morphed, I think. So cute! This looks really good. I love how big it is. You've got a little water dish there. Maybe another one there as well. That's cool. You've got uh, probably UVB light here, I'm, I'm assuming. So that's great. Love that. Lots of things to climb on. Uh, looks super good. Good job. And you've got live plants too. I've never reviewed any other fire belly newts. Yay! Oh my god, they're so cute! What kind are they? Chinese fire belly? Yeah. Oh my god, yes! This enclosure is so cool! Oh my- okay, this is honestly gold. Like, this is so much better than mine. <laughs> oh, this is so cool! Wow, are these all live too? No, I won't even be able to find them again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem with having a super- having a lot of things in the enclosure. With these guys, they're so tiny, you'll probably never see them again. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute though. I'm sure they're very happy. They look like they are very happy. Oh, first time total owners. This is for a yellow bellied slider. Just upgraded from a small 10 gallon to a 55 gallon. Awesome. Great size. And they did say they are upgrading the basking light. So that's good because that was the only thing that I was going to say to be honest is that this light won't do anything pretty much. So it seems like you already know that, so that's good. Just make sure that you do get a UVB light and a heat lamp. Um, turtles do need to have both. And lighting is very important, but you might already know that to be honest. But this looks really good, honestly. You've got two heaters and two filters. <laughs> I mean, you probably only need one of each, but maybe you have that because you don't have a proper size, like just one, so you're using two and instead, which is fine, you can do that, but it would be a lot easier to just use one. Yeah, this looks good, great size, good job, I wonder how big they are. Wait, is that them there? Oh my god, are they tiny? <laughs> it might be them on the basking platform. I was also thinking maybe the platform is a bit small, but if that's the turtle right there, <laughs> it's so tiny! Okay, that's even, that makes me even happier that this is the tank size, because that's amazing for a baby. I love it. Good job. <laughs> oh my god! That's so cute. The darkness is consuming us. What is going on? <laughs> okay, here's a fish tank. I don't know what size it is, how many gallons or liters it is. Um, they said, so much experience fish keeping, like some advice. I think my tank is a little bit overstocked, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think just by looking at this, it definitely looks pretty overstocked to me. Um, but you've got like a filter, that's good. I don't see a heater though, but maybe you live in a warm country so you don't need one? I don't know. But, you know, I like the setup, I like the plants. But yeah, this does look a bit small, you've got a lot of tetras in here, a lot of glow tetras. And also you've got some mollies or platies. And you've got bala sharks, which, interesting choice. Um, I think I see two bala sharks. Um, honestly, that's my biggest concern is the Bella Sharks. These guys are actually pretty big. They also need to be in like a small school and I only see two on there. There might be more, but they are social fish. They like to be kept in a school and they're recommended for like at least like 120 gallons or something for a school of them, which is like over 400 liters. Um, and I definitely don't think that's what the size is. This might just be like a 70 liter tank. I don't know. I can't really tell. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend probably rehoming the Bella Sharks if you can't get like a 
for the 500 liter tank because these guys need pretty large tanks. I would definitely not own them personally unless I had like a thousand liters or something. They would definitely outgrow this tank and then they'll probably start eating your other fish as well. Maybe I'll show you like a picture of how big they get because they look small when you see them like baby ones at the fish store but they get really big so, so I mean otherwise I mean it still would be pretty overstocked with even just all these tetras but if you just get a bigger tank maybe like a i don't know i don't know how big this tank is maybe it's smaller than like 70 liters to be honest i don't know maybe you get like a hundred liter tank um i think that would be pretty good because uh having this many fish in this small tank will definitely be a lot of bio load on the filter and it probably won't be able to keep up with that which can cause like ammonia issues and stuff which you definitely don't want so i would definitely recommend upgrading the tank if you can if you want to keep the bella sharks and you need to get like a four to five hundred liter tank so i mean if you want to do that go for it but obviously that's very large so if you can't do that it might be a good idea to find someone else to give them to or you can probably give them back to like a, a good pet store or something i don't know and let's finish it off with an adorable hamster in its little sand pit so cute i love it look at his blue face and that's all for today this was fun mostly good stuff as always but uh still there was a couple of of things you know, getting flashbacks from that better dragon enclosure. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for sharing your enclosures or just your pets. I love seeing them. And also it's fun to just add my own thoughts if needed. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what I'd like to see next to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!